Good morning, folks. Zooming in on the Canary Islands, El Hero, the East Coast tsunami threat where a volcano was born last October saw more than 50 quakes in the last two days. Still going this morning, each little box is one earthquake and the tremor depth suggests that magma is coming up. What a shocker. Magnetism may be the key to superconductivity. Raise your hand if you didn't see this coming. The BP spill investigation revealed that area was in bad shape pre-Deepwater Horizon, or so they allege. Can't catch a break, Greece. Resigning due to illness. That's terrible timing. Also bad timing is Cyprus about to ask for half its GDP. Millions, yes millions, are being evacuated to safer locations after landslides killed dozens and are expected to continue. You can see all the like symbols in China that is widespread torrential rain causing millions in damage by the hour. Puerto Rico region has seen larger three magnitude quakes today. We always watch this area for good reason. You can see where landslides appear to have taken place over the histories and in my opinion this is just as great a tsunami threat to the east coast as those islands way across the Pacific. This happened last night on the Florida Panhandle. The rain was bad already, but we are approaching catastrophic levels with the main rotation portion of the storm still spinning offshore. They expect yet another foot of rain. We got double tap last night, two gamma ray bursts, both from way south. First one came from the constellation Ara, the second one came from Vela. Looking at the BZ component of the induction magnetometer, it's easy to see the 1400 anomaly, which is into week number three right now. That is a record. It's hidden up here by PC1 pulsations and BY variation. The yellow is rising. That's the solar wind speed, presumably from the coronal hole that turned past center disk three days ago, although this is fairly minor. Also of note is the situation with active regions. On the southeastern limb, a sunspot was born and just over a day old, she has spread considerably and houses moderate magnetic mixing. The more the blue and red mix together here, the bigger flares you can expect. Speaking of, we can't yet see the region that fired off this CME. We're looking at the same angle as that orange view, just a wider frame with the sun blocked out. She's hiding around the corner behind that baby spot, and by the time she turns into full view, I imagine this big coronal hole will be staring right at us. That's the news, folks. Be safe.